that's the rental car that we hired it's pretty good on petrol which is what we need we just had the Roaring Meg Lookout I think that's what it's called so we're making our way down to Twizel or Cromwell, Twizel and Lake Tikipo at the moment just having a stop off stop and break here we made it as you can see it's really foggy um, I'm just gonna start getting my things ready so that's the reel that I brought and I've got my telescopic rod and then yesterday I went to buy some lures from the warehouse what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these hooks out and just take these with me back home so that I don't waste it. Got a little knife, three dollars that I'll just chuck out when I fly out. So yeah, that's that's my setup. Probably change lures if I don't get any hits. And we'll do this for about half an hour before we change lures. I don't know if that's a salmon or not. It's just so foggy that my camera's not focusing. But see if I can see if I can point it out on the camera. It should be there. I see something there. Look like the fog starting to lift. Did see one one group over there caught something. We didn't catch any fish, but we will have another try in the afternoon. We're going to head out to Lake Tikapo and do some sightseeing, and then when we come back in the afternoon, we'll have another go. Well, there's a fishing shop there. I think I'll just walk in and go get some advice. So we just um, drive past here and basically I'm just stopping and fishing wherever I see other people fish. So I saw a someone fishing along there, over there. Anyway, I've been to that shop and they said yeah, you can try baiting it with anchovies so that's probably more my style the salt water kind of style which is just you know put a bait on the hook so i'll try that this afternoon we're heading to lake tikapo to do some sightseeing first and we'll do that when we come back
Look at all these tourists locking up all the car parks. Nah, this place is pretty dead, eh? Dead of people because no tourists can get inside New Zealand. So this is Lake Tekapo. And then over there we've got that historical church or building there. Two kilo for one. I could cheat. We're back at this canal. The fog's all cleared up now. It's late in the afternoon. We've got about three hours or so to try to catch a salmon. Now this is going to be almost like trying to catch a kingfish, it's, uh, it's a bit of a, uh, a mission. So the plan is, I just bought some sinkers, and I've got some bait, I'm going to take the hooks out of there, and rig up something, and then just use bait and sinkers. That's all set, tight lines everybody, we'll wait a an hour or so or whatever how long it takes now these salmon for a good size they can go up to a hundred dollars for a whole salmon so if I get one I'm gonna be pretty happy we've caught absolutely nothing so far it's not really working out the way I wanted it to It look like some people's catching some things. I'm not having much luck. I'm just going back to Alua because we had two other fishermen caught, caught uh, salmon each. And it's a little bit frustrating because they're jumping right in front of you. Like you can see them just jump right in front of you and you've just got your lure over top of them and you're trying to, you know, wind it in but they're not interested. So I've tried about three different lures um, and still got no bite. So, yeah, it's, it's, I think fresh water just not my thing. I prefer salt water with bait and hooks, you know, rather than um, lures and, yeah. And I don't like the idea of having to pay to go fishing, like pay the, um, the license. But anyway, it's been, it's been interesting. I could have cheated, I could have just went to the salmon farm, catch one, edit it out, and make it look like I caught one here. <laughs> but nah, I just wanted to challenge. Well, we might not catch any salmon today, but, but there's a shop next door, so cheers. Hmm. It's actually half price for this um, sushi that we're buying because it's almost time to close down so I'm gonna go buy some more